Welcome back to Pathologic 2. So, at the end of the last episode, things had gone pretty wrong, and I loaded a save game, hoping to do just a little bit more before the day ended, and a bunch of opportunities passed me by, and... Well, between ending the episode there, and now it's the day after I'm about to play again, I've been thinking, I want to restart the game! You know, it's early enough that I feel like I can do that, and it's not that big of a deal. I'd just have the first day to get through, rather than 12 days if I was at the end of the game. And I feel like I could do the first day so much better with everything that I know now. I'm gonna edit out the stuff that's already happened before, you know, the whole prologue and conversations that we've had before, so that it's not too repetitive for you. And I'm also gonna try to choose the same dialogue options that I chose on the first playthrough, so that everything's kind of consistent with what I did before. Uh, yeah, let's begin. I'll bring you back when something interesting happens. Remember when we show up on stage here? I just went behind the stage, which I didn't do before, and it's a hell of a dramatic scene. Just a line of bodies and a pulsing light. Ah, so here's a new thing. So this is during all those little scenes we see as we're traveling on the train with a fellow traveler. This is the one where we go to this house and... Remember I went out here to fetch water for the person in there that was feverish and sick. And then I went back inside and did some stuff and then it ended and... Well, we couldn't come back here? Well, instead of getting the water, how about I go over here? Because there's some stuff going on. What are they doing up there? Are they about to have a mock sword fight? Maybe they're practicing for the play. Pack. Each has two eyes and two ears. Most have one nose and one mouth. Riddle me this. If eyes and ears were switched, what would be right? If, no if noses and mouths were switched, what would be fixed? Oh, someone in the comments said that the star on a dialogue option means that it's going to end the conversation. Did you kill him? Answer the question, Kayala. You're a step man, you must know the answer. But I don't. Then be on your way, Kayala. People don't kill people. Is that man alive, then? Hey, fellow traveler. Thirsty, fellow traveler? Mm, not me, someone else. There's water in a wooden barrel behind you. You walked past your goal. Not for the first time, and certainly not for the last. I saw the light. I thought it invited me here. Like a moth. Ouch. <laughs> okay, it's 7.41 a.m. on day one, right after the three people were killed. <laughs> Right after they were killed as if I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> right after I killed those three people. Very start of the game, talked with these people here and there. So now it's time to start the day proper and go start doing stuff. So this is where things are going to get different. Very different. I, man, just thinking of how wasteful of time I was looking around this station to see if there was a way in and wandering off to who knows where. I think this time I'm just going to go straight home. That sounds good. Let's do it. Oh yeah, it's you who told me not to go home, right? Yeah, you need no home beyond the town itself. Forget that place you so eagerly seek. Well, I'll be going through the town on the way there, so... We'll see what happens. Like, I wonder if that bad grief encounter where I die from the villagers and then bad grief or bad grief's people find me and take me to bad grief. I wonder if that has to happen. Like, there's a lot of things I'm wondering. If they play out differently, what's gonna happen? Are 
I don't know what it is about this game, but I think I'm going in a certain direction and then I check the map and find that I'm not going the right way at all. <laughs> I guess going across the train tracks is a pretty good way to go. I remember I went back and forth across the train tracks all the time in the original Pathologic. But I'm probably not going to meet people out there to trade with and stuff, so... Let's go into the town. Or, actually, wait a minute. This is the warehouse district. Bad Grief should be here. Of course, their place isn't marked on the map, so I don't know if I could even enter. I also don't remember exactly where it is. I want to say, like, here? Let's go further down the tracks. Just see if we can go talk to Bad Grief. I'll always go out of my way for a dumpster. See? Straight razor. Totally worth it. That might have sounded like sarcasm, but no, that's really worth it. Wait, where is Packer's place? I remember it was sort of obvious. Like there was a I don't know, something outside of it? A lantern or a fire, maybe? Oh, what's that over there? Oh, a place with flags! That's where the kids are! Yeah, after I came out of Ruben's place. At the end of the last episode, those were the kids that wanted me to come help the, someone who had been poisoned. And that's their base over there. Hell yeah! Yeah, I don't remember exactly where Bad Grease place is. But let's go see if we can talk with the kids. I wonder if the poison person is in there right now. Maybe they had been there all day. That's really cool looking. Kind of looks like a little... Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I was about to say it looks like a little chunk of the polyhedron, but actually, look at it. I think it has the polyhedron sort of drawn on it. Yeah. It almost looks like a blueprint. I vaguely remember something about the polyhedron being constructed out of blueprints or something like that. Oh, it's locked. Oh my god, I think I just found something really good. A needle, some chalk, and a beetle. Well, not amazing, but pretty good. And there's a pretty picture on it. Looks like a watercolor picture of a really pretty tree. Okay, cannot waste too much time. I'm already this close to the tracks. Let's just go out to the train track and just take that to Ruben's place. Yeah, I'm guessing if one of the main areas, like the kid's place or Bad Grief's place, if it's not marked on the map, you probably can't really go there. I'm so stressed about the time. 8.36. Ferryman's not here right now. Carouser? Carouser? Uh, oh, my brothers, my brothers in spirits, behold a man head higher than the sky. Behold a creature of well-earned pride. 
dare I trouble you, good sir, with trivial talk? They really don't like me. Well, oh, how ferocious Mother Nature is, for tis her wrath that must be borne. Oh, friend, if only I could quench my thirst, I'd give heaven and earth for a sip of cold water. I mean, I have a bottle of water. You're literally next to a pub. A pub is closed, good sir, but even if it wasn't, what makes it open, really? One must ask oneself. Uh, and anyway, Stamatin the curmudgeonly has introduced new rules with another sort of liquid flowing. A fiery one. A good one, but not one I need at the moment. So, do you have water? Maybe I do. Oh, hell yes, I do. Um, three bottles. Oh, they want a filled water, of course. Heck, I wish I'd give them all the other three bottles. Where's the nearest place to fill up? I want all these tourniquets. It seems like people who look like this are the ones who will trade tourniquets for water. So I think what people trade depends on what they look like. Puts them in, like, categories, I guess. And water bottles are like the one thing I just keep finding all over the place. And tourniquets are very valuable, although they don't heal much. It's something. One can drink from barrels and water pumps instead of the polluted gorkin. Indeed. Is there a water source like super near me? I don't see one. Oh wait. Oh, I see one over here. Um, I'll go there in a minute and get another tourniquet. Oh, they have a tourniquet and a bandage. Probably heals more, costs a little bit more. Let's go get some more water. Just right after I get distracted by what looks like maybe loot over here. This feels like a good place. This feels like secret. That's not secret. That's an empty little alleyway. Never mind, waste of time. Fire's really loud right here. It sounds like we're both being roasted for dinner. Okay, so I could use the tourniquets right now. Because I am hurt, but I don't think there's any point in doing that because... Well, there's some point in doing that. But, like, I'm probably not going to get into combat right now, right? So nothing's really going to kill me, and I will heal just by sleeping. So unless I think I might be in danger or I'm really close to death... I don't think I should use them. I think I should save them for when I am in more need. Okay, I'm still going the right way. It's such a relief to have people not care about me instead of trying to punch me. Mm, they all finished over by the stake. Oh, they're telling me about the trial. Yeah, I want to try getting to the trial where that where that person was burned at the stake. I want to get there early. Uh, in fact, I'm almost there right now. I might as well go, like, right now. Okay, that marked it on the map. Kyra. So relieved they brought fresh water from the springs. Otherwise, we'd have to drink from the Gorkin. Mm, we've had this, this this discussion before. Ah, pemmican. Charms worth five, pemmican six. Tourniquet's worth four. I don't want to sell that, though. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I just won't buy anything. 
Yeah, we're really close to the lot. The, the burning's happening. I was going to call it a trial. It's not a trial. Chisel match. Hazelnut. Kids like hazelnuts. Sells for two. That sells for two. This sells for six. Well, I'll sell one spring and buy one handful of hazelnuts. Thanks, buddy. I don't know why I drink so often when I, like, barely need any drink at all. Nothing to trade him. Yeah, let's go to the lot right now. This person holding up their bones. I'm gonna tell them I still think you should leave, they might return. I mean, they're literally burning somebody at the stake, just like you, like 100 meters away, so yeah, I would hide. This music. Okay, please tell me we can avoid this. I'm gonna skip the cutscene. No, we cannot avoid that. Because we got there, I mean, like as early as we can. Oh, yeah, they leave a charm here. Thank you for the charm. Feels weird basically looting their ashes. are very close to home. Nothing in particular is going to happen when we go home anyway. We're just going to have those onlookers. They're going to tell us that it's closed. Sabarov closed it up. Chickadee. Oh yeah, I remember you. Smoked fish. Morphine. Charm goes for six. Oh, I don't want to get rid of needles because they're used for getting in drawers. Broken scissors three. Um, a match for one. Okay, I'll give him a charm and one match. Yeah, my hunger's pretty high, actually. I might as well just eat the smoked fish right now. Technically, it might actually be better to save it just in case I get fresh food, because I should eat fresh food before stuff that's going to last forever. So let's actually save it. Wait. Wait, your name is Chickadee too? I'm so confused. There's more than one Chickadee? Um, oh, this one asked me, did you hear anything on the way here, like a train? No. Yeah, it's been weeks. There are two chickadees, right? Well, now that I can't talk to them, it doesn't show their name, but... Yeah, they look the same. <laughs> oh god. Man, the lighting and the high detailed models and everything and that hair it just oh, looks so cool mm, charm goes for five yeah tourniquet charm I mean I know how important food is so maybe I should just give him a charm for Akashic sure overpay a little bit but that's alright 
make me more liked in the district. Not that that matters, because I think my reputation everywhere is going to tank. Swift. Ah, right. They're the one whose uh, father gave away their name. And they give me the scrap name. Only got soap to trade. Keep it for yourself. Wash your hands. Stay clean. See? Like, what the hell? I just traded with these kids and now I'm going the opposite direction right now. I thought this way would go towards my house. Literally the opposite direction. What's going on here? Are they dead? Shit, they are. They're completely naked. They don't have any clothes at all. Usually they have at least some tatters. What's going on? Did you see what happened? Um, lost one. How? Why? Curse this air, this mind-numbing odor. What do we do now? I want to ask him what happened without sort of accusing them, but I don't see an option for that. I guess, did you do this? No, it was a twire-addled mob. The step is in bloom and people get crazed, but never before was it this bad. So the twire got to a mob that then killed her. Okay, so she has been murdered. I wonder if it was the same mob that burned that person. Why a step girl? Old wives' tales. They claim a golem sometimes emerges from the ground. It looks like a woman, but is all earth, clay, rock, and marrow. The story claims it has legs of bone and this uncanny way of walking. And the brides, you know they have a special walk, too. Not a walk, a dance. In the morning, people screamed about a step abomination that had left no footprints and had bones for legs. But now look. It's only a girl. A stepgirl, sure, but alive. What bones? Can't you plainly see that it's a normal girl? Don't you know how it goes? Get her, one screams, and the rest crowd without hesitation. Especially in the night. Especially with their minds intoxicated. Not everyone can think for themselves. It's easier to do just as you're told. Do people scream things like that often around here? Have you been listening, lad? I'm telling you, this is the first time the world must be coming to an end. Indeed. What did that just add here? Shepnak, a deer, a clay golem of local legend, steals the shape of a young woman. Uh, I mean, I feel like I should do something, but what? Loot, they'll know. I don't want to loot a body. Is there any reason to do an autopsy? It sounds like people wouldn't like that either. Actually, I can't even do an autopsy. I don't even have a, s a scalpel. Yeah, okay. Guess I'll just leave their naked body on the streets. That's sad. Nothing but tourniquets. I don't want to give away tourniquets. Uh, this way for my home? Yes. Crowd's in that little courtyard there. Just talked with everyone in front of my house, and that's what kind of unlocked the next level of quests. Like, it gave me the one to go speak with Reuben, the one to go speak with Bad Grief, go speak with Lara Ravel. And no one hates me yet. I don't actually remember exactly what triggered everybody to hate me. Does it just happen with time? I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So I'm like... I'm kind of close to where I was at about 5 a.m. on day 2. In my previous save. <laughs> Except it's only 10 a.m. on day 1. So, oh my god, am I doing so much better. Let's go to Ruben's place. Because the kids should be waiting outside. 
then I can say yes, I'll try to help that kid who's poisoned and the trial and all that. God, lo look how the freaking streets look when it's raining. Look at that. I guess I should pause it like this, sort of. There's another tension. I want to look at how beautiful the game is, but time passes while I'm looking at how beautiful it is. And I can freeze time by entering a menu, but then that obscures the beauty, you know? I wonder how you do that. Like, I wonder how they put it in the game so that this puddle of water going over all of the brickwork... Oh, there's a little hoppy little mouse. I wonder how they made it so that it's like... It looks like a puddle, right? Where it's like covering all of it there, but then kind of just going in between them here. I wonder how they did that. <clears throat> Ozel. A Shabnak Adig always steals the form of a woman. But that's mere illusion, broken the moment it starts to run. That's when you notice the legs, made of bone or clay. It leaves no trace behind. When it runs, the illusion dissolves, like a smell carried away on the wind. A Shabnakadig is a myth. It's not real. He must be an outsider. If he'd lived here as long as I have, you'd sing a different tune. Here, the earth is alive. It bears more than just crops. Sometimes it spits out a horror so unfathomable you spend the whole night sleeping in fits and starts. Clay and bones cultivate a beast. People don't kill other people around here. Only a Shabnak would do that. People don't kill other people around here, only a Shabnak? Yeah, fucking bullshit. I just watched two, one person get burned alive and then another person shortly after they had been beaten by a mob. <clears throat> I'm a local. Dipshit. Hear the earth speaking. Oh! Oh, remember? Um, I saw a bunch of people getting into a fight back here, and then I just ran away because I had, like, no health. Maybe I should get involved. What is going on? Something just happened. They couldn't suspect me of patricide, could they? Of course not. Impossible. Uh-oh. That feels like a precursor to everybody trying to kill me. Yeah, what's going on here? Hi? Oh no, this is the person that tells me everybody's gonna try to kill me, isn't it? Shit. So your old Barak son, yes, I've got bad news. Um, yes, this is the thing that happens. Okay. I have a fingernail already. Wait. Do I? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Does everybody hate me? Yet? No, but I think every time I move between zones, they hate me more and more, right? Every time I show my face? <clears throat> um, yeah, do I have a finger now? I don't. Wait, no. No, I do. Oh, thank God. So I need to get to Laura Ravel's place right away. Preferably before getting taken to bad grief. I'd rather not be... Almost dead. Um. Well, I should get to a boat, obviously. What's the safest way to get to a boat? I guess the safest way is to not leave the zone. So the nearest boat is this one right here. I should go to that one. Because I can get almost right there without leaving this zone. If I go to this one, I gotta go all the way across this zone. Yeah. <clears throat> I should probably just go to Ruben's while I'm here, because I'm going to have to go across there anyway. Um, alright, and let's see what's going on here. Kestrel. Everyone calm down now. No more mob justice. Well, voice of reason? Damn. What the fuck do you want? Everything is dealt with over here. No more blood. That sounds good, actually. Uh, what's, what is dealt with? The murderers. It wasn't them. And if it was, it's up for the judge to decide. Are you one of the crazies who can't keep their fists in check? 
I'm Artemy Barak, Isidore's son. I only arrived today. <clears throat> Something happened this night. I'm not sure what exactly myself. Then a rumor spread. A step golem had stolen a woman's shape and started to kill. A Stone Age idiocy. They beat several step girls to death. I wonder if Twire drives folks insane. I like this person. Were these the ones who... Were these the ones who beat girls to death? <coughs> they tried. It's alright though, they'll be taken to the town hall and dealt with now. Wow. Absurdity. How could it happen? How could anyone call themselves human after that? God. Go. Calm down and be on your way. You're a tough one. You should be a foreman at the abattoir. Okay. A uh, bunch of fences that way. That's all blocked. I can get through over here if I pull a U-turn. Look at all these jumpy little mice. They look so creepy. <laughs> it looks like they have a flashlight under there. Like, you know the stereotype of being at a campfire or like, I don't know, being in a tent or whatever, camping and put a flashlight right under your, your chin sort of to make your features look extreme and tell a creepy story. It looks like that. Oh yeah, I think we spoke to some this person before. Bayarla, how fares your kind? We the Takange. We, the Katonge, must help each other out. You are our kin. You shouldn't get into fights, Tengir. You'll always lose, no matter who remains standing. <clears throat> yeah, we've done that. Damned if you don't, damned if you do. Bayarla, let Mother Bodo caress your step. Oh, they give me a charm. It's nice of them. Man, I want that pemmican. I can give them back the charm they just gave me. Regifting. I mean, it's not a gift, it's a barter, but it still feels weird. Don't have enough water bottles for that. Hello? Mm, ah, you're the death by starvation one. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the toast. Right, they give me toast. Let's eat that. <coughs> Dove. Mm. Oh yeah, we talked with him as well. Just the damn twire blooming making our heads swim. Shop knocks don't exist. Do you know who started the rumor? Mm, who could ever figure that out now? Who are you? I'm Artemy. A needle would be good. I don't want to give him a tourniquet for it, though. Oh, shit. Did I just... Hold on. Oh, I didn't even change zone. It just tanked my reputation. Maybe it's just based on time. It still says no one cares about me, though, so they don't totally hate me, so... So we're okay. Yeah, we're fine for the next 20 seconds. <clears throat> A murderer walks the streets. Human or shobnock, who knows. But our kids are outside too. And stay home no matter what we tell them. Oh yeah, I've had this conversation as well. Can't you just ground them? It sure there's nothing to be done. Mm. Oh yeah, they tell us all about the tower and how weird it is, how when you try to talk about it, it's like the tower stops you or something. How do I get into this place? I think there's a break in the fence here. So 
There's also a save point in here, which will be really nice, and the kids should appear outside when I come out, I think. They did last time, anyway. Let's have the conversation with this prick again. Damn, there's some really good stuff in these drawers. I don't remember if I found anything last time. I'm unwelcome here. Does that mean they're going to try to punch me? I thought all this was empty last time, wasn't it? But oh my god, there's shit tons of things. Rusty scalpel? Oh yeah, I'll use that for some surgery. That'll be great. Oh my god. I feel rich. Okay, that is beautiful. You can see the raindrops going down the windows, and you can also hear it, that plink plink noise of raindrops on a window. There. Good, we can hear it in the menu. Pretty subtle, but it's there. Right, we gotta keep on the move. Wait, did I loot this? No, I didn't. Money. Hopefully the kids will be outside. <clears throat> yes. Okay, just talked with the kids. So I've got that quest. Um, I'm hated now, by the way, so people are going to try to punch me. So I'm wondering how to get over here. And actually, if I'm over here at the ferryman, then I might as well just go to the warehouses. Because no one's going to punch me there. It's a lawless place. Like, it doesn't say you're hated. It just says only rats live here. There aren't even really people wandering there anyway, but even if there were, I don't think they'd touch me. So I might as well go help the kids out while I'm there. And I guess go talk to Bad Grief, too. Hmm. Bad Grief, because they saved me, they wanted me to repay them by helping out their people. Doing the surgery on them. But if they didn't save me, how's that going to go, I wonder? Will they still ask me anything about that? Will it be a favor instead of repaying a debt? Anyway, the big question is how the hell do I get over here without dying? How do I get there without encountering people? I can sneak, right? Yeah, okay, I can sneak. It's slow as shit, but I should probably do that. There's a break in the fence over here. Yeah, okay. This is really slow and I have no idea how effective it is. But let's try it. <clears throat> they just stood up. Did they see me? Did they see me? I sort of looked like they were looking at me. They're kind of following me. Is this going to take me where I want to go? Um, this way will. The factory, I don't, <clears throat> I don't know if people hate me in the factory, it just says welcome to the machine. It doesn't say you're hated. I don't know. I don't think there's going to be any people over here though. Oh shit. Uh, I see some kids there. I'm gonna risk it. We, we okay, we okay, we okay? Yes? What's up with you? Katonger. We've used that word quite a few times. Today is meat day, Tonger. We feast on meat. What are you celebrating, Katonge? Katonge brought meat this morning, said a warehouse door was left unlocked, so we took some. Bose Vlad grows fatter by the day. He works, he takes the profit. 
so we've decided to take the meat, at least. Good on you. Is it at least fresh? It's cured, Colburn. Who would keep fresh meat in a warehouse? And if you need a drink, the water is next to the factory wall, see? Barrel water's the best, brought from the step. But in a pinch, you can drink this too. Um, alright. Show me the meat. Smoked meat. They'll trade for four. Ooh. Oh, a pocket watch is worth eight. Well, hell yeah, I think I should buy all of this. Like, for food, this is really, really, really cheap. So I want 12. Yeah, I'll overpay a bit. That's fine. For three meat? I feel like I just got rich. I mean, in this game, this is rich. In other games, it's like, yeah, I found a level 20 sword. I, that's a terrible example, but, you know, in this game, it's... I found three smoked meats. Woohoo! I'll live another half a day. <laughs> How am I doing on hunger? Uh, not well. I should eat some. Then again, I don't have any water on me and I don't want to go get water right now. Eh, it's fine. That restored a lot of hunger. I hope every day is meat day. Because if I could come back there, that would be so valuable. There's the ferryman down there. Almost to the kids. I feel so satisfied with how much better I'm doing with time management this time. So much better. Is it breaking the fence up here on the left? Or breaking the wall? Not even noon yet. I've done so much in just like four hours. <laughs> 